Alright guys, y'all know what time it is. It is later. <laughs> y'all don't know what time it is. But it's later than I expected. It is 6.19. And I'm just not going to the gym. And I'm having this because I could not sleep. I didn't sleep very really well last night. I don't know what was going on. And I had like a really crazy dream. And now that I'm trying to remember the dream, I usually remember all of them to like the detail to the T. But I can't remember this one. It's really freaky. <laughs> Not freaky as in like that, but scary. Like what? And I might change my way today. I might. But other than that, I don't have any plans. Because this is my, yeah, this is my first off day, my second off day tomorrow. I wanted to go to the safari zoo to be the animals but I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. I might do that on Sunday. Yes, my name is Risky. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Y'all, this week was really something. And I know I say this every week, but this week was something. And that's why I'm at the ice cream shop, you know? If I'm gonna have a sad day, I might as well cheer myself up with something sweet. And this can go either one or two ways, really good or really bad. But I came here for my favorite flavor, the gooey butter cake. And I just plan to really get two scoops and go about my business. Y'all, I walked out with two things. Like, who does that? But anyway, this is my little picky hint for the week. And the week only just got started. Okay. I'm just now leaving Jenny's. So I'm in my car now. I just, I actually only came this way because I knew it was close to where I just, I picked up my car from uh bmw this morning and i was like i know that today was rough for me today was rough and the reason why i say that is because i was supposed to work until thursday and i requested it to leave an hour early because i just literally couldn't take anymore i just couldn't take looking at the screen the politicking i just can't i can't even anyway Like, I know in any job, you're going to have to, like, speak to people and be cordial. Like, I think what it is, I'm not going to say I hate my job. I just don't like the type of, you know what, I guess that's, I, no, I do not hate my job because, like, my job is fun. But I'm like, it's a type of work. I get so bored. I get so bored. And, like, I think I need something that's better going to stimulate my mind. Or that's going to stimulate my mind better. Y'all, I'm over it. But I did get my ice cream. I got my ice cream from Jenny's. I mean, y'all already saw that, but I already told y'all what I was getting. I love this stuff. This stuff is so good. It's like so, so good. But I'm gonna go home. And y'all, my dog is pregnant. And I don't know how to feel about that. There's also another reason why I'm like, I'm about to have a drink. I'm about to make you some dinner. I'm about to eat my ice cream. I'm about to edit a video that's coming out this Wednesday. But that's it. I don't want to hear, see, or talk to anyone for the next 10 hours. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see, but i was just hoping that it wasn't showing in my face and i just edited my video now i'm watching other people's youtube videos it just dropped today at 7 p.m it is wednesday uh it is wednesday november 20th oh my god that keeps happening it is wednesday november 20th and um i'm gonna try to drop my videos every wednesday at 7 p.m est and i just uploaded but after i uploaded there were like other creators videos that came up that like don't have a lot of followers or a lot of views and i usually try to go and like watch their videos through and like comment on it like even if they're like maybe what 15 10 minutes long i try to watch at least three and then you know go on like because i mean i would want somebody to do it for me so that's my deed <laughs> my good deed and um I came in here to tell y'all about my day. I was supposed to film today. 
I, and I did. I filmed me going to the gym, but I didn't film myself at the gym because my workout was so bad. Like, I was holding back tears the whole time. Like, y'all, like, today was very, very rough. And, like, I don't know if y'all seen my last video. I feel like since I've moved here, I've never known peace. And I feel like it's always something. And, like I said, it is always something. So, my dog, like, has been escaping the backyard. She escapes the backyard, which is fine. It's my responsibility to fix the gate. So... We would fix the gate. Well, I would fix the gate. And she would find new places to dig so she can go under the gate. And so she's been escaping. And she's pregnant. And I cried. <laughs> the whole day. Like, I cried the whole day. I didn't... Like, I'm so sad about it, y'all. Like, y'all have no idea. So I slept my day away. And I only got up at 4... I think like 4 9 19 or something when I got up and it's my off day from work and I was like oh like I'm just gonna have a good day and then I'm expecting to take her to the bed and say like oh no she's fine like it's fine it's not fine <sighs> and I want to say I want to tell you guys all the details but I literally I can't maybe one day I'll be able to and I'll feel strong enough to but today I'm just not because that wasn't the only thing that happened today I'm just like Girl, we got to get it together. So, we going to get it together. And part of me getting it together is using YouTube as my visual diary as I get it together. So, here we are. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. <laughs> as always, I've already brushed my teeth and washed my face. I just get back in the bed. But, y'all, it's time. It's finally getting cold enough. For me to wear my favorite robe. And you know what's funny? Y'all ain't gonna guess where I got this robe from off a of whim. I just wanted to see if it was gonna come in good quality. And I got it from Timu with a whole bunch of other like workout clothes and stuff. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be cute. So yeah, I really love this robe. And sometimes it's just on my body 24-7 in the house. But I just woke up, like I said. And today is gonna be Operation Get Cute. Yesterday was the worst day I've had since coming back from Atlanta and I feel like the day before Atlanta was bad and then I came back over the, over the weekend when did I come back I think on like the 10th or something yeah it was like the 10th of, the, 10th of November when I came back and every day had been good up until honestly I can't say that because I think the day before yesterday was bad too and yesterday was bad it was like two days in a row that it was like I feel like I was just either shot or something but operation of get cute because that's always makes me feel better and then i think i might i need to make come up with an outfit concept because me and my friend Drea we're gonna have a photo shoot on friday no saturday so i think i need to come up with an outfit concept which i kind of do have i kind of already got it in the bag but I need I need to do one thing. I think I think I need to come up with like a skirt. So I think I'm gonna take apart some old jeans that I have and make a skirt out of it. So we'll see. But yeah, I think I'm gonna oil my my natural hair first. I got my little braids in. <laughs> oil my natural hair first, and then uh, go ahead and wash the new wig. Cause like I said, I never put it in for the wedding, and pluck it and. I think I wanted like a streak, like one really blonde streak in it. And then, yeah, go from there. But okay, y'all, I'll see y'all in a couple minutes. I think I need to get myself together. I think I might watch a little bit of my show before I even get started because I'm just not <laughs> in my right mind.
Okay, y'all, I woke up today and chose violence. And by violence, I got up and I was like, I'm going to change my hair. Like, I haven't been feeling too good over the past couple of days. And I always know one thing. When my hair is done, I always feel better. So I got up and I got to make... So these are the products that I use. I use a neutralizing shampoo and then I also use the silicone mix bamboo version. And I got the bamboo version because I just feel like it just adds more moisture to the hair after like washing and then the like bleaching and stuff like that. So y'all, I wanted a little streak because I was feeling a little edgy. So I separated my streak and then I got the foil because I feel like the foil helps it process faster. And I don't know if this is like scientific or what, but I started doing it after I saw somebody else do it and it actually worked. So I started by putting that on my little my little strip. I don't know what to call it. I wouldn't call it a smock because it's not in the front. But I, yeah, I just like put the bleach on my strip and then I set that up by itself. And I made sure I folded it really nice and neat so it doesn't get in the way when I start to flip my knots on the lace. And then I like to flip my wig inside out and I like to make sure that all the hair is out the way. And I take my bleach and I just kind of pack it on there. And when I say pack it on there, I actually mean that. Like, I know some people get scared to do it because they don't want their knots to go the, all the way to like a certain point inside of their hair. But I think it turned out really great. Like, this is probably one of the best jobs that I've did on it. Like, not gonna lie. I was a little scared because it was looking a little brassy, but that ended up working out in my favor later on. And y'all, like, not me on my bald head. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got braids. And they all connected in the back. But I just always feel so vulnerable doing this stuff. Like, especially on camera. Because I don't like showing people that part of me. I don't know. It's just, like, really weird. Does anybody else agree? But, yeah, when I tell you I haven't done this method in such a long time, I was really nervous. But look how I plucked this wig for the guys. Like, it looks so good. I was just so proud of myself. But y'all, I'm so upset because this is my favorite, favorite, favorite gel to glue down my ball cap with. And guess what? I dropped it in the middle of doing it. And I broke the little nozzle. So I don't know how I'm going to use it now. Maybe I'm just going to just have to stick my rat tail comb directly in there. But I was so sad because I'm like, I don't want the product to like ruin because it's open now. Y'all, them little clips. I take out the little clips on the side and I leave the clip in the back, but I have to take them out because I feel like they just get in the way and they're like, this is too much. It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. I don't know when this turned into a mini wig installation tutorial, but it just kind of did and I'm just going to roll with it for today. But like I said before, I'm really not too good at cutting the lace, so I have to really be careful with this process. So what I did was I cut off a little bit and I put my band on and I left that band on for about 10 minutes before I went with my um, razor cutter and cut everything off. But here you see me just blow dry in the back because I don't know why, it just felt wet still even though I had let it air dry for hours. But honestly, Whoever said cut it with a razor, you were doing something, you were doing your thing with it. Like you really ate, I don't know why. But it just makes it look so much more melted and doesn't look as wiggy as it could. But I don't know. I feel like this probably was the best install that I've ever done in my life. Like not even joking. And y'all who don't be wanting to utilize that hot comb, utilize that hot comb. And I was going for like a little half up, half down. I was going to straighten it, but I've seen some girls do the half up and half down, you know, with the little parts or whatever, but I don't particularly want to do it that way. So I just kind of like pulled it back and did like a little bun and then kind of left it like spike, spiky, so to speak. But honestly, it turned out really cute. I was really impressed with myself because I was like, mm, now we're doing salon quality at home. <laughs> That's why I say on YouTube, you literally can learn anything. There's no excuse not to know how to do your hair, your makeup, your nails, like nothing. It's all here. It's all teachable. Just follow this tutorial. But anyway, look how cute this bunny is. I ate. I fear I ate. <laughs> so cute. Afterwards, I went to Eastland Market. And it's really just like your local Asian market. And this is one of my favorite, favorite places to go as well. They always have a lot of teas. <laughs> As you can see, the tea selection is extensive. One of my favorite teas of all times is Jasmine Tea, and this is a brand that I've never tried before, and so I'm going to try it. Um, they also have ramen, and they have one of the most extensive ramen aisle selections that I've ever seen. Okay, y'all, so I came in here mainly to get ramen, and my favorite 
instant ramen noodles they don't have. It's the Indomie, the spicy, hot spicy chicken one. And I'm even looking for the individual packs. And they don't have it. And I don't want to have to go to the other store because I'm already here. And I gotta go to Walmart. So I think I'm just gonna get something new, try something new, and go from there. So maybe the I've never, I only had this brand one time with the spicy noodle challenge and it wasn't even that spicy. So I think that's gonna be it. And I'm gonna go. But look how extensive their ramen selection is. Instant noodles. What I say. <laughs> so y'all at the end of the night I usually making a burger bowl and watching one of my favorite anime is Blood Sea. And that was about it. I'll see y'all next week, Wednesday, 7 p.m.